Hi everyone, I'm here with a very different look. Definitely not like me, I usually do very natural looks, but today I am trying out a new brand with lots of fun colors and glitters, so I felt like blue was probably pretty appropriate to kind of introduce this brand. So for today's look, I used a lot of Smith & Colt products. Smith & Colt is a new brand to Ulta. It was very exciting to see a new makeup brand. I picked out a good range of products. I picked out a little something from everything that they have to offer. So that's kind of what you're seeing on my face today. Before I start rambling on about anything else, let's just get started in the first impressions kind of review style video. So I'm first gonna go in with the Smith & Colt Untouched Skin Brightening Foaming Primer. It sounds like straight water. I think it like really shoots out foam. This is what the packaging looked like if you're interested. All of the Smith & Colt packaging is really cute. For my skin prep, I only have the Glossier Priming Moisturizer. It's very lightweight. I didn't want anything super thick on my skin because I'm going to be trying a bunch of new products. Hmm. Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay. Well, is that too much? This is how much I've, I'm doing. I don't know if it's too much. It also smells not like unpleasant, but kind of like baby powder. I feel like that was too much. And it also made my skin quite light. It felt pretty moisturizing on the skin. It definitely does not feel like a silicone primer. I feel like my skin does look brighter, uh, but it could just be because it was very light on my skin. Next, I have the Smith & Colt Veiled Threat Weightless Micro Blurring Foundation. I got mine in the shade 250 Warm. This is what the bottle looks like. It's glass with a plastic top. The pump is pretty nice. And then that's just what the foundation looks like. It just smells like makeup. There's no fragrance to it. I'm just going to take some with my It Cosmetics brush. I don't like to use a sponge for my foundation. I feel like it takes way, way too long to blend out. So I always like to use a brush. I feel like this match is really good for my tone right now. I haven't really been out in the sun and I haven't self tanned in a while. So this is kind of like a true winter shade for me. It's like a satin matte finish. Definitely like if you can see that there's definitely some glow which could either be the foundation or it could be the primer underneath of it. But either way this combo does look pretty nice. It's also feeling pretty nice on the skin. It's not feeling heavy at all. It looks really nice. I would say it's probably about a medium coverage. I bet you could probably build it up a little bit but I'm not going to. I'm not going to bother doing that. So I'm going to apply concealer and then put powder on my face and come back to do my brows because I do have a Smith & Colt brow product. So I did move you guys in closer so you guys can see how the brow product is going to perform. I picked up the Smith & Colt Built Brows Volumizing Eyebrow Powder. This is what the packaging looks like for that. And then this is what the actual brow product looks like. It has like little mixing balls in it. I'm not sure what for, if it's a powder. But this is just what the product looks like. I got mine in the shade Dark Cool Brown. I don't really know how I'm going to shape my brows with this product, but I'm just going to, I guess, okay, that was kind of a lot of product. I'm, I want to maybe blend it out on the back of my hand first. I'm afraid. I've never used a product like this before. And those sounds are annoying. Oh my gosh, do you guys hear that? That is annoying. I would consider returning this product for the sound alone. Oh my gosh, that made my brows really dark. Okay, let me do the other side. I really would wish that this product came with some sort of spoolie so that I can brush the brows out because that's a lot of product in my brows right now. I'm going to brush them out. 
Even if I do like this product, I really was not feeling those little mixer balls. Like, that was annoying. So, my brows, like, brushed out. They do look really nice. And also, I feel like the powder is almost, like, moldable. So, my brows are kind of sticking up. Like, I definitely think the volumizing claim is very true for this product. But like, the sound was god-awful. I also feel like this could get messy very easily because you're distributing like a ton of product at once. And for the eyes, I picked up the Glitter Babies, which is their liquid eyeshadows, their liquid glitter eyeshadows. I picked up these three shades. This one is in the shade Cyan, this one is in the shade Fiery Copper. And this one is in the shade bronze. So this is what cyan looks like. Super gorgeous, oh my god. This is what bronze looks like. And bronze is really interesting. It definitely has like a bronzy base, but then has like green and pink reflex to it. Hopefully the camera is picking it up. It's really really interesting i think i got a broken one of this one because there's no stopper and like this is a disaster so i'm going to be returning that but i want to show you anyway what fiery copper looks like because i was incredibly impressed by fiery copper it is gorgeous Okay, so see, like, in certain lighting, it looks very pink, but in other lighting, it looks super bronze. But what's interesting about these glitters is that they can give off a very smoky look. So I'll show you with bronze. So when I apply bronze to the back of my hand, you can leave it and it looks like that. That's fine. But you can also blend it out and it ends up darkening up the shade and you can kind of like smoke it out. So maybe if you want, you can like apply some of it like normal and then smoke out the edges. So then you kind of just have like a one and done eyeshadow look. My God, bronze is freaking gorgeous. These are beautiful. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing a blue eye look and I'm going to be using Mr. James over here. I'm just going to apply it because you're not here to see James, you're here to see Smith and Colt. Okay, so I finally finished my blue eyeshadow. Let me tell you, one, I don't think I like how blue eyeshadow looks on me, and two, James Charles was very difficult to blend. I feel like my eyes are gonna fall off because of how hard I had to blend these blue eyeshadows. I am very excited to get this blue on my eyes though. I'm just going to pop some in here. That's pretty. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. And I am gonna take it all the way on my lid because I wanna try like smoking that out. So I'm gonna keep rubbing this side to smoke out the ending, kind of pushing it up into my crease too. And then I'm just gonna pat this in. Oh, oh my God, uh, this is gorgeous. I'm just gonna lightly pat the glitter like onto the crease. I like how that looks. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm not mad at blue eyeshadow anymore. I do like that you can rub a bunch and it doesn't flake off. Like I'm having no flaking at all right here. That is gorgeous though. Holy smokes. Oh my gosh. I love that this product isn't lifting at all because sometimes like I'm a huge fan of the Stila glitter and glows but sometimes if you pat them in too much they will start lifting a little bit but 
I'm like severely rubbing this and it's not lifting at all. This is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. I almost wish that they had even more colors. Wow. Wow. This is unreal. I'm going to apply lashes and come back to do the rest of my face. So this product I'm super excited to share with you guys and that is their blush in the shade Universal Peach. This is the Flash Flush Powder Illuminous Blush. It is beautiful. They have four shades of this. I really wish that they had more shades. I got this one in the peachy one. I just felt like it would probably be the most flattering on my skin tone right now. I also really liked they had like a plum one that I really liked, but it was pretty deep and probably would look better in the summertime for me. So I'm just going to pat my brush in here. Oh, it seems like it's going to be really super pigmented. I should tap, 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 tap. Cute. Alright, so that blush is super pigmented. I think that if you are a blush person, you'll probably really enjoy these blushes. It's not as shimmery as I thought it would be. I'm just going in with my foundation brush and kind of patting it in because I kind of don't want it to be as intense as it is right now. I thought it would be like a little bit more shimmery, actually like a lot more shimmery just because the pan looks so shimmery, like almost like it's going to look glossy on the skin, but no, not really. It didn't come off that way. This brand had really cute like glitter highlighters, like glitter pots. They were like cream glitters that you can use probably like on your eyes, lips, cheeks. I almost got one, but honestly, they were kind of expensive. They're like $20 for something that I really wouldn't use that often. So the last Smith & Colt product I have is a lip gloss. I got this one in the shade Dusty Mauve. I'm going to take Dulce K from Kylie Cosmetics. I still feel like that's too dark. Maybe I'll take a little, little bit of concealer. My lips are gonna feel really gross and dry. Okay, I like that a lot better. So this is the final look using mostly Smith & Colt Cosmetics, as much of Smith & Colt Cosmetics as I could put on my face. The foundation is laying very nicely. I'm not having any creasing. I loved how my concealer applied over top of the foundation. There was no lifting or any weird patchiness going on. It laid very nicely. I'm going to definitely have to play around a little bit more with this primer. I thought it was pretty interesting. I definitely saw some skin brightening going on, but it could have just been because it was much lighter than my skin tone. It also felt pretty good. This brow product business, the Built Brows, was also pretty interesting. I, I don't know, I hate the sound. This is so annoying, but my brows did come out pretty nice. I should also mention that the brow product also comes in a lot of different shades. I was even able to get a cool tone in the brow product, which I really appreciate. I hate when brow products run too warm or too like red toned. I love a cool tone brow. I feel like it just matches my hair a lot better. These were gorgeous. If you want to see any tutorials with these two, let me know. I would be happy to do them. I do think that $24 for these it's not a lot considering the Stila glitter and glows are also $24 but I feel like they're gonna have a hard time competing with the Stila glitter and glows and I feel like they should have made the price maybe $20 or even $22 just to compete a little bit more but that's just my like weird opinion I'm super interested in picking up another one of these blushes especially in that shade cool plum that I was telling you guys about this is absolutely gorgeous I'm definitely going to be incorporating it into my like blush rotation it really went on beautifully it was very pigmented so you really only need a little little bit and i just think it looks very flattering on me and my skin tone i'm a big fan of this lastly was this lip gloss i 
find that it feels very comfortable on the lips. It's not heavy. It's very lightweight. I think it gives a very cute amount of color. It's not pigmented by any means. I didn't even show you guys like a real swatch by itself. That's it. It's just kind of like a little hint of color. It also makes my lips feel very hydrated. But yeah, that is everything that I have to share with you guys about this new brand, Smith & Colt at Ulta. If you guys have any questions about any of the products that I use, please leave them down below and I would definitely answer any questions that you have. But that is everything that I have to share with you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you want to be notified whenever I post a new video and hopefully I see you next time.